It's opening weekend for the National Pro Fast Pitch Softball League. The Chicago Bandits are all suited up and ready to take the field against the Cleveland Comets. No better feeling like opening weekend. It's like a kid on a Christmas morning and working so hard and being so good all year and doing all these things that you finally get to play. The energy is palpable and the competition is fierce, despite large gaps in pay and opportunity between these women and their Major League Baseball counterparts. There are only six NPF teams compared to 30 in the MLB, and the highest paid pro softball player makes only 4% of what the lowest paid baseball player does. I know it sounds cliche, but a dream come true. You know, I never, you know, I thought after my four years of college, I'd be done playing the game, and it feels so nice to be able to continue playing for as long as I want to. You know, it's a dream that you've been playing your whole entire life, and it's hard to just let it go. For the 23 women on the Bandits, it's all about the love of the game. The team atmosphere is one of the biggest things that keeps bringing me back. The, the girls on the team, they're awesome. We have a good time together. I'm still incredibly competitive, so I want to be on the field um, at the highest level that I can be at. And, you know, the NPF gives me that opportunity to come here and do that every summer. I just love softball. I love competing. I love being with my friends. I love traveling. I love all the opportunities that softball has given me, and I get to play professional softball. And with the opportunity to play professionally, these women are giving back to the game that gave them so much, staying connected even during the off season. I uh, moved back home and I started to do the private training route where I give lessons a couple nights a week. So I have the ability to travel around and do various camps and clinics, which is really cool to do because you get to interact with kids who have dreams of being in your shoes. Lessons and camps are one of the most common ways these women earn a living. Many are also grad assistants at universities across the nation during the off season. I did lessons and camps in Oklahoma, so I had family that lived out there, so I moved out with them, and that's really how I made a living. And then this past year, I got the opportunity to go back to Michigan and get my master's as the graduate manager. Um, this upcoming season, I'm trying to be a, a GA somewhere. According to the players, the league has shown much improvement and growth over the years but these women are hoping to pave an even better path for future softball players. Our goal is to be able to guide the next generation into a bigger and better league and hopefully making more money than we are. The Bandits are off to a 5-0 start to the 2019 season. They are set to take on Florida's U-Triple-S-A Pride this weekend. In Rosemont, Carly Stone, Medill Reports.